What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is going on everybody? Welcome to part two with this Demir reanimator list very very happy uh with the way that this one has turned out so far uh it's not perfect uh we we lost against mono red last time uh if you didn't check out part one highly recommend you do so uh we've got uh do a little bit more in terms of looking over the deck so you can actually see why we've got everything wow what an interesting hand um i, I mean we can't keep this right no there's no way that's that's ridiculous uh we'll keep this um, we'll go ahead and throw this back. We really don't need that right now. Um, that was a weird hand. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, this deck is very, very interesting. I am loving it, though. Uh, we've had some good luck so far. It's kind of a Garuda deck without being a Garuda deck, which is really cool. Um, and so I, I highly recommend checking out part one. It is very, very good. Um, let's go ahead and drop the Watery Grave out here. Uh, we do have a lot of early game stuff. We're not really drawing it here, but Tonebound Lich is going to be very, very nice for us uh, to get uh, Garuda here in the graveyard. Uh, so then we can kind of start doing what we need to do. Uh, granted, we are against most likely a bit of a control deck here, so um, going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, we can Blood for Bones next turn, assuming this sticks around. Uh, if not, we get to play either Secret Keeper, uh, Murder Strider. I'm going to try and hold on to. The assumption is that they're going to probably have some Planeswalkers to deal with. Oh. Okay. Not what I thought. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, well. Hmm. Let's go ahead and Blood for Bones. Uh, we'll sacrifice this. We're going to be able to pull that back, which is going to be great. Uh, love Blood for Bones. The value on it is just impeccable. Um, yes, perfect. That is exactly what we were w wanting to hit. Uh, so now, at the very least, we can kind of block this um, and stave off some attacks here. Uh, the assumption is they're going to be able to burn something out here, uh, and that's fine. We we have Thassa. Um to uh to kind of bounce and draw us some stuff so we'll see what we can do they may lava coil this too that's decent possibility thankfully they did not get the deafening clarion off when we didn't want them to that's not the worst thing in the world um it kind of sucks but it's really not terrible um i'm gonna pass uh the assumption is that they probably have a shock or something um, or, yeah, there you go. They just want to get the damage in. That's fair. Um, not going to do that quite yet. Let's go ahead. Let's play out Thassa here. We're going to attack in. Let's do this. Okay. This does come back under our control. Uh, uh, that's a very... You have to be very careful about that. Uh, so I'm very glad that that works out. Um, one more land and we can literally just play Garuda. Uh, if we'd like to. Uh, if we don't get the land, we probably will just need to kill this. Um, and we'll find, we'll find a way. Um, and there you go. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try and get Ruta here first. <clears throat> a little bit worried about a counter. Sure. Makes sense. That's fine. Um, let's get an attack in here, and we do get to... What's nice about the Crackling Drake is we just get to draw a card every time. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, good thing is, what devalues counters very well is reanimation spells. So... Interesting they did that first. Um, definitely going to block now. <clears throat> and maybe this is going to be a situation where we just kind of have to double Murderous Rider. Um, I 
agent. Oh, that's very good. Um, I wish we could actually. Um. I'm gonna do this now. We don't really have to, but I don't want to run into a counter, is the worry. Um, unfortunately, they do still have a threat on the field that we're gonna have to deal with. Um, we draw one more land, we can actually just steal it, uh, theoretically. Um, unfortunately, that is not a land, but we're gonna try it. Um, the assumption is they probably have a counter here, though. Yep. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play out this Secret Keeper. Um, this just gives us a way of, I mean, why not? Um, this just gives us some target for Blood for Bones, so if that is our draw next turn, we can try that uh, to be a little bit more mana efficient than uh, Concoct. We'll see. Um, sure. Really need a land uh, for Agent here. Unfortunately, that is not one. Um, all right, so. I think this is our best bet, because if we do hit an agent off of the top, ugh, we did not. Uh, we'll surveil all those into the graveyard. We'll get a Garuda here. Um, and kind of hope we hit something on the opponent's side. We got another Garuda on our side, though. That's actually not bad. Um, um, we'll keep this first one. Unfortunately, we didn't get there on this one. Uh, we'll keep this. It doesn't matter. Ugh. Nope. Not quite there. Let's see what it was in our top four, just out of curiosity. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and concede here. Uh, unfortunately, no flying. That's all. Uh, if we had hit an agent of treachery off of that concoct, I think we would have been great because uh, we could have stolen their crackling drake, uh, which would have not only given us a blocker for the brazen borrower, um, but also just given us a really, really strong attacker as well. So we could have finished off the game pretty quickly, but that's okay. Uh, I think that was relatively close considering this is a homebrew um and so i'm i'm pretty happy with that uh this i am not very happy with i'm gonna mulligan that um this is better uh i'll put the concoct back here it's not a great hand but it has at least a little bit to do uh, especially against a Luris deck we do have the ashiok which is quite nice so let's go ahead and drop this um I'm gonna put the land on the bottom. I don't know if that's 100% correct because we do have a murderous strider. We're gonna need double black, but we'll see. Looks like this is the cycling deck. Um, hello. Uh, good thing about this, this very much, uh, their arcane whatever it is, uh, this is gonna devalue it like crazy. Interesting they didn't actually cycle anything away there. Ah, that's fair. Let's do this. Um, part of me kind of want to just target, <sighs> no, it's right to target ourselves, I think. Um, yes, I know I'm playing this out when they're, you know, most likely going to, to just attack into it, and that's fine. All they have to do is cycle once and kill this. But that is okay. This deck highly dies to, like, Narset. Um, it, it just kind of shuts it down. Not entirely, I suppose, but pretty close. Uh, kind of wishing I had kept that black land uh, on top. I think that was a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. We'll do the best we can. Is it not Arcane? Zenith Flare is the card, right? The one that deals damage equal to the number of cyclers in your graveyard or whatever. Yeah, really wishing I kept the right land. Um, hmm. I'm going to pass here. I don't know if that's correct or not. 
Um, worth noting, there may be a, a world where we should run sweepers in this list. I don't know, though, because we do run the Blood for Bones, so it's like, eh, it's a little bit tricky. I chose not to. Um, I don't necessarily think it's good or bad. I just, that was my decision. Um, I felt like the slots were kind of taken up, so I didn't worry about it. But, you know, we'll see. Most likely we're just going to lose here, though, because they are dealing, what, how much damage? Yeah. Did we just lose? Oh, we're at one. We got that one, guys. So now we can't even kill anything. <laughs> and our third agent. All right. Going to go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, that was just not a very good hand on our end, uh, to be honest. But that's okay. All right. Last game with this uh, Demir reanimator list. Still loving it, I will say. Um, I, I think that first game was good. I think that game was a little bad. Um, but there was just not much we could do. We didn't have a very good hand. So, let's see how we do. Let's try and at least get one win in this video. Uh, we got two last time. So if we can get even, uh, that would be good. Uh, this I will keep. This is helpful. Uh, Murderous Rider is helpful. And assuming we get another land, we can start to blink uh, the Tonebound Lich and really, really do some cool stuff. So, <laughs> Is this Mono White Cyclers? Oh, man. Again? Um, yeah. These two cards are a very, very strong combination, though, I will say. It's very, very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drop that. If we had gotten an untapped land there, next turn we can blood for bones, but we'll see. I'd rather not blood for bones the Tonebound Lich, to be honest. Uh, I've got higher priorities than that, but that's okay. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I wanna just get that off of there. Um, all right, so. We're in a temple. It's not a bad card, actually. Um, what do we have in our graveyard right now? Is it just, whoops. Agent and, uh, okay. Uh, so next turn we can really, really do some stuff. Uh, then I think what we'll do is we'll just pass. Um, we'll leave up Murderous Rider if we need to blow something up here, which I think we will. Sure. This just means we get to steal this. So I'm kind of fine with that. And we do have Thassa in hand, so very soon we'll just be able to start stealing a bunch of stuff. This is a very non-interactive deck uh, in terms of... Oh, look at that. Um, don't want to put that in the graveyard, but we do want to kind of put Thassa in the graveyard. Uh, let's get Agent. I'm going to steal that, um, just so they're not dealing damage with it. They've already played two of them, I believe. Yeah. We'll see what they do. I mean, that usually is a good bit of of uh, support there. Now, if they do have a Zenith Flare, that's going to suck. What would be great is an Ashiok, to be honest. That would be kind of amazing. Um, let's play this out. We're going to do this, uh, mill ourselves. Gonna attack in. We'll just steal a land here. Um, they don't have quite enough to kill us in their graveyard. Let's do this. Be great to be able to gain some life. We could have played the Murderous Rider to try and get that going, but we'll see.
now they do. So if they do have the Zenith Flare, they can just win. Uh, and that, I think, is my annoyance with this deck, is, like, Zenith Flare, very, very powerful card, very good card, no doubt about it. If you have it, you win. If you don't, you don't. You know, it's like, that's not always the case, obviously, but that's just uh, not my favorite thing. Um, yep, and there you go. It is what it is. Uh, all right, so, um, in summation, uh, to kind of talk about this deck a little bit. So, uh, first of all, once again, this was kind of uh, concocted initially, not by myself. Uh, Adam suggests su uh, Adam on Instagram suggested it. Uh, thank you to him for, for providing us with kind of a base template. I kind of took that idea and created my own list, uh, which is where this one came from. Uh, and there are certainly flaws, no doubt about it. Um, Garuda doesn't hit a ton of stuff in our deck, really just Fibblethip or Thassa, both of which are very good, don't get me wrong, um, but not necessarily the most optimized thing. Uh, does not hit Agent, but Agent is, I think you have to have Agent. Uh, Agent plus Thassa, Thassa really plus any of these really nice creatures uh, is just really good. Uh, so no matter what, I think you need to have that in there. Um, regardless, do I like this deck? Absolutely. Uh, holy crap, is it fun. Um, it's not perfect, but my goodness, it did some really good work. Like, we were able to Garuda, in a couple of games, we were able to Garuda and just take over. Uh, Agent of Treachery, we, draw, we drew six cards off of an Agent one turn, uh, because we just had two of them out and we were stealing everything. <laughs> um, Thassa, like I said, mixed with a lot of these guys is just amazing. The, the interactions, uh, or the early game that we've got, I think keeps us alive long enough that we can win a game against an aggro deck, uh, like a mono red deck. Um, though we did see we didn't really have the best of luck against mono red uh, this time. Um, but I, I mean, it has the tools. I think it has the tools. I think it's worth it to give this one a shot. Now, um, it's like I said, it needs probably a little bit of work. If you've got some some time and you change this list around or you come up with a better one, please feel free to let me know. Uh, that way I can kind of retest this down the road. But uh, I kind of like having Garuda not as the companion in this deck solely because we get to run both of these in the same deck. And that is insane. Uh, very, very strong. Uh, Ashiok I do think is a bit of a must have uh, in standard right now. With all the Luris decks running around, uh, cycling decks running around, this is just a crucial card. Definitely could potentially go even up higher on these, uh, but very, very good. Uh, there's really not a card I'm unhappy with in this list. I think I might trim the Murderous Riders a little bit. Uh, I do think that those were a bit much. Uh, they were good, but I don't think we needed them every single time. Uh, there were better options that we could have had there. So regardless, I love this list. I think it's a fun one. Demir is one of my fav favorite color combinations. It always has been. Uh, it's great to see it kind of do its thing here. So I loved it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, of course, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. We really would appreciate the support. It's been fantastic lately, so thank you guys so much uh, for helping us get where we are today. It's, it's pretty awesome. So thank you guys very, very much, and I will see you in the next gameplay video.